That's no good. But we moved the throw out bearing and that front tail piece is broke off. There it is. Stuck in the throw out bearing. So we'll see what else we got going on. I was going to clean it up, but since that's all busted up like that, I'm going to remove this plate and see if this casing is busted up too. Before I waste my time cleaning stuff, it's going to go in the garbage. So let's take it apart and see. These are uh, 12 millimeter bolts. Okay, bolts are out. I gotta tell you, I don't know what would drive anybody to drive something into the ground like this. I bought this truck just like this with the fourth gear wasn't working. So, we'll see what we get to. Well, that's what it looks like. Look at this. What a mess. Used to be a needle bearing right here. There is whatever this is. It goes in here, and there is a retention ring right here. So I just remove this retaining ring with this here. Came out pretty easy. I'm going to start taking it apart. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove these two switches. And then I believe there's this over here on this side. And it needs to come off. So we'll see. I used to three quarter inch wrench to loosen this and this here and I believe I gotta take this one here out because that goes to this rod right here this here is a size 10 and I removed that hose that was up there to work and hold the phone I 
So I gotta take that out. I gotta put the phone down. That's a rubber seal right there. That's what that looks like. And bolts hold the case together or size 12. So it's uh, 27 will work, 27 millimeters. So behind these there should be a spring and some other stuff. Yep. It's just that. So it's got a spring. And this here has a groove on one side. Should be the same with this one here. We have a spring. Let's see, there's the spring. Pretty stuck in there for some reason. You can see it is right there. So, this sprite. Man, I need three arms. Not moving for whatever reason. All right, I'll deal with that later. Doesn't seem like it's going to impede me from taking these apart. And this here, the center plate, it's got sealing on both sides. It's on both sides of it, so it's kind of glued together. So I gotta put the phone down and split it. It's got dials in there, so you gotta be patient. I'm just using it. Small mallet and going around slowly, separating it. And there we have it. I just stood it on his end. Baron right there. Baron's before now. I don't know what they done to this truck. But he drove it into the dirt for real. But that's what this disaster looks like. And, uh, it's the inside of the bell house. I got the log out on the other side. And it looks like that. It has a groove as well. And the groove is towards the front of the transmission. It's in that hole in there. That cap and spring. So this one will be on the driver's side. 
is shorter than this one on the passenger side and they both have a groove and if you can see down in there there's a spring with the ball bearing is attached make this bolt right here and this bolt in here is a size 17 that will get that spring my mind whoops he just fell there it is this it takes that ball bearing with that spring took this retaining clip off of there And then there is this piece. And then there is that ring. And then there's this gear this is what the top looks like it's got like a ring around it and the bottom looks clean so it goes like this and then this is what this looks like this one may be pressed on here. I wrestled this sucker out of there. But finally got this sucker out of that hole. Now I get to clean it and inspect the whole thing. Replace the bearings. And whatever else needs to be replaced. This bolt, this bolt, and this bolt have a spring and a bearing that fall into those cuts in the uh, shifting fork rods. That's what like locks them in place. See the cuts. Chunks of metal everywhere. All that junk fill out. Amongst with those bearings and whatever else fell out before. Here's where the input shaft goes. The whole thing's in place. Where everything broke. Bearings, of course, are shot. This bearing in here is shot. Sound good, huh? I'm going to go ahead and take this gear out, but I believe I got to remove this 
in these bars first so I can get uh, bearing pullers hopefully that will work otherwise I gotta get some different puller but we'll see the shift rods look like they have double roll pins once you gotta knock those out so I can take the shift uh, bars off and take the forks off so I removed this pin here which is that pin there with the double um, pin in it and remove the bar screw spring ball bearing from that one so that's that rod right there was on top of here I'm gonna remove this one so I can get this bar out of the way and then remove this one because this one is not wanting to push through that way so I'm gonna push it in that direction so let me get to this one here and remove this bar that way I get the clearance to do this one and that's what we're looking like so far so I used this puller was a little bit a little bit of a bitch to use that to pull this gear out um Got it out of there, so this was able to come out. So we'll assembly it goes right in here, and these little pieces, which I only found part of one, and so I got like two and a half going this. areas right here as you can see this is where we're at and we're at here's where the gear was here's where the synchro and all that stuff or those things go into and it's broken so I gotta order that piece there's the input shaft 24 splines this gear has 21 T's this is the mating gear so this actually this part here are supposed to be pressed together they won't even fit because these teeth are all messed up this piece was inside here and this goes inside here there's a needle bearing that's missing which they are calling it in the kids a packet bearing just a needle bearing that goes here it's 26 millimeter so that's where that all goes together. So then, this that's the gear that meshes to this gear. This one is 32 teeth. This is the uh, um, third, fourth, uh, whatever they call it, shifting hub or whatever. And this is where the shifting fork fits over the top of that. And then the shifting rod goes through that. Across through there.
This is synchro. This is broken. And that's another synchro. But you can buy these as a unit with these all together. This whole stack as a unit. This here is uh, first and second gear. Um, fifth and reverse, and which reverse is right under here. And then there's the two hats uh, on the back end. This is the output shaft. This here is the input shaft that went over this. What we're going to do is we have all the parts necessary to replace what needs to be replaced, which is mainly bearings and of course the stuff that got damaged, such as this shaft. And this other part here, the synchros, the keys, this retainer, this was broken right there. This inside piece here. So I was able to find this assembly, except it did not bring the rings and the keys. Anyhow, got to take these two off. Everything's going in this pan, and so I'm just going to lay it out. Just how it comes out of here. And I already loosened both of these, which I took the grinder and ground these down. So I got new ones. That's what this looks like. There's a washer and a bearing. And I may use uh, this shifting rod to just kind of keep my stuff together. So I'm going to go kind of backwards. And put that in, and then put this in, and then just slide whatever else goes in there. And then we'll get another one, do the same. This one is a reverse thread. Again, I took the grinder and ground where it was punched. Right in there. And then there is this piece, which looks like it has a pin right there. So Just 
screw that in. This pin right here. And that over there. And there is this bearing right here. So we have that one there. And there is a big looking washer, which is taper. And the taper goes to towards the gear. So this is the back of the transmission. This is the front. So the taper end goes to the front, flat end to the back, where the bearing sits right here. together and this one has the gear behind it so this one here seems like it's maybe pressed in there have to figure out how to get that one off. I tap that with the easy for the wolf. Separating right there, so it's this one, they're both coming together. Oh, I see. It's this ring up here that's holding it. Interesting. Curious loose. This ring up here is holding it up. ring has a lip. The lip goes against the gear. And this 
gear just slides right out. Now this gear has the spacer wider than the back. So this goes towards the back. Again, this is the back of the transmission. That way is the front. So back, front. And then we go to this side. Let's see what we have here. So we have this gear. Here. bearings right here I don't know that my kit that I bought brought these bearings so these ones probably have to reuse okay then this should be a sleeve I believe we have these other mm. Let's see, we got the synchro. And there's keys in this one. There's a key there, there, there. And I think there's some springs in, in there. So I don't know why it won't come out. But we'll see. I think that this is a sleeve that needs to come out for that to come out. But I'm not 100% sure on that one. And then this one here, which I believe this one is reverse, it has a snap ring on it so I gotta find that tool for that so and I might need to press this one out We'll see. Is there more in here? Yep. Yeah. It's another ring in here. Okay. I have to go get my snap ring tool out of the truck. Have to go get bigger, better snap ring tool because these mold is tight as it gets. All right, we're gonna take a break. That's what we're gonna do because I gotta be able to do this other stuff, and I'll get to that when I get there. What I don't want to do is this one to come all apart
and how the springs go flying. There is a retainer right here. Looks like that. Then your springs on these. Mm -hmm. I can feel the springs. So that goes in there like that. Springs inside here, putting pressure on these guys. So, if I pull these, springs are gonna go flying, and this other gear will move because this is holding it in place. And this may be. And then I have to take this and let's see what happens. And what do you know, this is one of the keys they sent me in that package. It was not the one I needed. It's good to know. goes like this look at how much metal shaving is in that I don't know if you can see that crazy Oh, actually, there's no spring. I thought I had springs underneath there. Apparently not. Yeah, that didn't get us much farther. So let's see. Trying to see if this is moving because this is holding this in. Got no room.
go to the other side. Let's see what we can do on the other side. This is the input side, this is the front. So let's see if I can remember where all these went. These, this mess right here went right here. And this mess right here went right here. So this goes in like this with the three divots towards the back. So then this gear here which has a bearing in here and looks like that. It's like this goes in here. There is these two keys right here that I'm going to have to knock off of here. Looks like they have a lip. That's too fat. Let's see. Looks like it has a lip at the front. Zip right there. Hopefully, we can see that somewhere in one of these cameras. This one's dying on there. Come on.
build that. And this gear. Looks like we're gonna have to. Do the thing over here. What is going on here? Hold shaft out of the way. Going after these bearings. This plate may be holding this in place. And this here may slide all out that way. I have to go look at my service manual. To see how this comes apart right here. Definitely sleeve on there though. So I have to go look at the service manual. Okay, let's see. I went down the road to my son's shop and picked up a couple different um, these snap rings, different tools. So let's see what happens here. All it takes, right tool. Alright. So this gear has this spacer washer in front of it 
has four grooves same in the back except the back it's flat and the grooves go all the way on the gear the front steps out a little bit and then there's bearing needle bearing that goes in there and then does this come out of here no nope, that's part of the shaft so this shaft is being held in place by this plate here so i'm just going to put that out of the way there So I'm left with, I need to take this out of the way, and to take this out of the way, and I don't have a press. I have to go to my son's shop to press it out. So here we are, bringing it to this press. See what happens. That's what we're looking like at the moment. So we'll see in a minute. Hopefully this will work. Someone's got a gift. Okay, so got back from son's place. So got the sleeve out. And then there's these. The bearing straight up metal chunk right there. And there is this color right here doesn't have any splines in there or anything that goes right there and then that will allow me to slide this off That's a seal bearing.
So these screws looks like they're staked down by this little some by some kind of tool. I hope that's not gonna give me trouble. Cause I gotta get this bearing out of here. I gotta take this out to get the bearing out. So I need these to slide off of here. So that's that. Which leaves me with this. These will slide out. And that's what it looks like. And it has some bearing. And there's a some a bearing right here. And another color, but this one is not pressed in. So there's some bearing right here. And there's this color right here. And there's this. that and all this just stays in place. Now it's just a matter of cleaning and then putting back together. on the back side. It's like a spacer. It has a few divots. And then we'll start with this. It has two divots on the back actually the front this is the front this is the back so that's how it was in there it has a little cut out 
Put that out of the way. Now I gotta see if I can get those out. I'm gonna use this impact driver. And this is a T40. What happens here? Down with that loosen. I don't like the way that one is right there. See this one here. I gotta get extension for this one because Uh oh. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was not recording. Whatever. I lost the one camera. I have to see why. Screws look like they're all the same size. Okay, so I got the screws out. So I got the screws out. So this plate, this is pinched in there. Now look at that big chunk of metal right there. Whatever, it fell. There's a chunk right there. It's full metal right there. Look at that.
Now these bearings. Look at the chunk of metal. Okay, now it's time to clean, and I'm not videoing cleaning. There it is, plate out. This is the front, this is the back. Hmm, this one doesn't have a stop. Interesting. So after cleaning parts, I have found that there is right there there's a broken tooth right there and there and there so I gotta order that's the fifth Fifth gear. Um, synchro hub or whatever it's called. So I gotta order a new one of those. And then looking at this main shaft. It's got some crazy wear on it. There's a piece that covers these, but right here is where that hub sits, and this is tore up pretty bad. So I'm gonna order a new main shaft. So this is where we're gonna stop. This is all tore apart. So I'm going to make the next video will be assembling everything whenever I get that shaft and that one gear. So that'll be for this video. So part two it'll be assembling.